Hey family, I am just leaving from the day spa. I came in and got um, got my eyeliner touched up. And um, let me find my keys. I got my eyeliner touched up and I had um, um, a little cleansing, like a little facial. And so, um, so I feel really good. Um, she derma braised me a little bit. And I didn't want it to be so um, profound because my skin is so sensitive. But I cannot find my keys. I can't find my keys. But it was good. It was really, really good. Here they go. I guess if somebody would have been after me, I guess they would have got me, huh? They would have got my ass because... Anyway, I'm slow motioning right now. Um, we're heading over to go and get um, my lipotropic injection. We're going to get that. Um, we're going to the body shop. Um, and we're going to go check on these eyelash extensions uh, for um, my trip. So, ooh, it's hot in here. So, anyway, so shout out to Lena. You did an excellent, excellent, excellent job. Um, really, she just touched up my top lids. Um, and I have it on um, this, this lipstick is the infallible. Let me show you guys what lipstick it is. This lipstick that I have on right now is the... And it's actually a remnant from last night, and it just will not come off. And though she, um, of course, you know, she did all this, but she didn't do my lips, of course. My lips are very sensitive, too, and I, I, they'll swell up, like, ridiculously. So, she didn't touch my lips, but, um, so she kind of cleansed me a little bit, cleansed me up. It was time. I like to go from time to time to get my, um my skin you know thoroughly cleansed and microderma braised and what it does is it keeps my skin very clear um, it keeps my um, breakouts and things to a minimum though I do tend to break out because my skin is sensitive but um, I don't know it just works for me and I guess I've been doing it for so long that you know I kind of feel like something is wrong or I'm missing something when I don't um, go and um, you know spend a day spa treatment you don't know, have a treatment so anyway the um the lipstick that i was wearing was number 400 infallible and it's more of like a bronzing tone hold on let me put on just a little bit just for the sake of argument so you guys can really see i did wear this last night baby thought that it was just as cute as ever um Y'all, do you know, I went to the bathroom and I lost my ring that I had on. anyways so this is the color here and I love it I just got it um was it yesterday yeah yesterday I got it from CVS um L'Oreal well, no Saturday because it was on the L'Oreal products it was like buy $15 worth of L'Oreal products and then you get the $5 um, um, extra care bucks back so I got this one and I got another color and I got the five dollars back. Hold on, I need to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, so yeah, so but I like infallible just like the Revlon color stay and they just don't go away. And it's like whatever you do, it doesn't go away. 
So, um, I love that. And the lip, um, pencil that I was using is Sublime, um, but I didn't use it since last night. And anyway, but it's 200. And, um, so yeah. So she when she did my my face, so I'm thoroughly cleansed now. I'm all the way cleansed. And I wanted, you know, the rouge from last night taken off of me. Um and uh you know, I don't like I want to seriously get to a point where I like now I don't wear makeup every day. So, and that's a good thing for me because I don't want I don't want that as a crutch for me. You know, whereas I got to get up, oh, I got to put on some eyeliner, oh, I got to do my eyebrows and all those things. So, by me having these guys permanent and by me having the permanent eyeliner, I don't have to get up and do all those things. I can just put on some gloss and go. And especially when you have a good uh, cleansing regimen, your face and your skin is pretty cleansed and clean and clear. And that's where I was trying to go with it. I do have a discoloration right here, right here, right here. That kind of bothers me a little bit, but you know what? Nobody's perfect and everybody has something, you know? And it's like my modes, it's like it is what it is. What can I do about it? So, anyways, family, we have to go. We're going to get over here on the freeway. We're heading to Chino Hills. We're going to leave from Chino Hills and we're going to... I want to go to the Goodwill. I haven't been to the Goodwill in a while. So we're going to go to the Goodwill. We're going to leave the Goodwill. We're going to go to Victoria Gardens to the body shop. I want to get some, um, some, um, some, um, scrub. Um, so we're going to go get some scrub from the body shop. And then we're leaving from the body shop and we're going to the T-Mobile store. Because I want to change my phone's my phone over to my new phone uh, this is the old which is all jacked up and toe up and everything and this is the new and improved new hotness you see I still have the the, the, um, the clear thing on it because it's you know it's not you know I haven't switched it over so and I didn't want to take off all that just yet but I decided that I'll go to the T-Mobile store and have them do it all for me as opposed to me switching it over because I want them to switch over my contacts and everything um so we got some running around to do um I'm going to call Anthony I think I'm, I want to cook some I don't know some quick tacos or something or maybe we'll go eat tonight because I really don't feel like cooking. And after all this today, I'm going to really just want to lay down and do nothing. Yeah. Do absolutely nothing. So, let's go. We're out. Enjoy the ride. Bye. Let's see what they got going on in here. I was able to get these really, really cute keychains. Oh my God. Look, a mini. And I also like Tinkerbell too. So I got this one too. And oh my God, it's like pewter. It's nice. And it's very heavy. I think I'm more inclined to believe this is pewter as opposed to um, silver because it's, it's a very high quality. And I got me a Minnie Mouse pin for my purse. So, I'm winning. Let's do this, family. In there and out of there. Let's go. Okay, so you don't get any meds? Um, I just, no, I don't get any meds. I do get the lipotropic, the lipo... Then? Mm-hmm. You want two of those? Two of them, please. And what was my weight loss um, this time? Three pounds. Three pounds, that's good. Because I think it's been about a week. I think I came last Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, it was the 18th. 
Okay. Do you want to put it on the same side? Yeah, it's fine. Well, we can do the left. To the left, we could do the left. Left? Yeah. I went over there to the body shop. Let me see if you guys can see it. I went to the body shop right there. Got some really cool goodies. Some really, really cool stuff. So let's head back to the T-Mobile store. I dropped my phone off. So let's go pick the phone up. It should be ready. They were trying to sync the, the calls, I mean my pictures and my contacts over um, through my Gmail account. So let's go see if my shit's ready. Bye. Look at my hoodie. I got a body brush. I love these type of things. And I got a lot of these different um, body scrubs and the body um, butters to match. Um, they had one, it was like a gardenia scent, so I couldn't beat that. So I got that and the body brush. And I think I got about, I don't know, about six pairs or so. I could take it. Um, I also went to Best Buy and got, um, I went to Best Buy and I got the, um, 16 gigs for um, um, one for my phone and one for Tony's phone. But for my phone, it already has 16 gigs already internally. So I don't need this. So I just bought this for nothing. So you know I'm taking that shit back. Seriously? I'm taking it back. Alright, family. I'm out. I love you. Bye. Okay. We're in another part of Victoria Gardens. And there's my T-Mobile store that I like to go to to show you. It is so cute and clean. I know the wind is kind of cutting up and shit, but it is what it is. Let's go get my new phone. My new hotness. Let me go get it. It's ready. Bye. It isn't ready. So what is a chick to do but to get some snacks? Here's Cold Stone. But I want some cookies, so wanting cookies only means one or two things. It means Miss Fields, which is around the corner, or which is what what's right across the street, family. Let me show you what's right across the street. You ready? Bam. Nestle Toll House. It's home. Let's see what we can get. my cookies and look at that jumbo juice look look at that one How about that? How beautiful is that? So, family, I am still here at T-Mobile, and let me tell you something. I've been sitting here waiting on my phone for well over an hour now. It is now 7:30. It's going on 7:30. And I tell you what, family, I am just tired. I mean, they're, what they're doing is they're transferring all of my data and everything that was on my old phone. They're transferring it over to my new phone. And um, 
you know, I didn't, I, I knew I had a lot of stuff on there, but I had over 3,000 things that they carried over. You know, that, that includes the pictures. Um, I think they're trying to keep some of my taxes too. And, um, but my, all my contacts and pictures and videos and all that kinds of stuff. Um, but how about, you know, why I'm feeling like Fantasia right now? Because let me tell you something. I'm up in there, right? I'm going to cover up some of it. I'm going to just cover up some of it. How about I meet the dude up in here, gave me his number. Now, didn't Fantasia uh, meet old boy at the T-Mobile store? Nigga, I feel like some straight up deja vu type shit jumping off right here, right now. And what makes it so bad, he is fine as all get out. And I was like, oh my God, because I was, you know, I was, you know, trying not to really, you know, check him out too tough because he was definitely my type, you know. And so I was like, you know, not really trying to, you know, because I have to say, ladies, I have never asked a man for his number. I've never asked a man for his number. I've never asked a man to dance. I've never uh, bought a man a drink at a club or lounge or bar. Any of those things. Um, I just feel like, I guess I just haven't had to. You know what I mean? And I don't take that for granted, but I'm just being honest, you know. And, um, you know, I'm seeing him, you know, kind of, you know, checking for me. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to, you know, really talk to the cat, you know. And so, um, I goes back in there a few minutes ago, come back. I mean, when I go in there, the last time I went in there, you know, and... Boom, it's like, well, here's my number, you know, I find you highly attractive, yada, 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 you know, woo, 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 I mean, just spitting, spitting mega game, I mean, mega game, do you hear me, ladies? And so, I was like, you know, I was sitting here, and I was like, you know what, let me holler at my girls for a minute, because old oh boy is on some old, uh, what's, what's, what was, um, uh, Fantasia, and they name is almost the motherfucking same. So I was like, "Oh shit, ain't this some, ain't this some motherfucking bullshit?" So anyway, family, my eyes are starting to swell up on me a little bit because I'm tired as all get out. Do you know I still have not eaten? I've had the cookies, and I only had like four of those, the little, little small ones, but I still have not eaten lunch, and it's 7:30 at night. And I was kind of thinking maybe I would get some fish. I was supposed to help the kids um, make some tacos. And so I can't, I have no ability to call the kids whatsoever because my phone is being synced. So I can't even call. But um, I talked to Tony prior to me, you know, coming in, you know, coming over here to Victor Victoria Gardens. And so he knew. That I was getting my phone sync, so I know he's probably thinking something happened to me because that was a good two hours ago when I talked to him, and so I surprised him. Um, he likes Paul Hardcastle. Let me cover up some things. Anyways, I got him Paul Hardcastle, and they didn't have it in stock, so um, I just paid for it and have gonna have it shipped to him and he's Paul Hardcastle the chill lounge is the new CD so I was like you know what let me su su um, surprise uh, senior and get him a um you know some memory for his phone oh well all right It's no harm in looking, right? I just had to double take. Damn. So, anyway, but, um, my cup runneth over, family. It's all in fun. Please understand and please believe it. My cup truly runneth over. You know, I got some really, really good people in my life right now. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm highly favored and blessed right now. So, but Damn. Fuck. 
So, anyway, um, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to go home. All those damn things. So, my iPad is going out. Look at this shit, y'all. Hold on. Oh, shit, it's going out. Yep. My iPad done went out. Look. It ain't doing shit now. It's completely went out. So now I have no communication to the world. I have no phone. I have no iPad. What about my iPod? Well, there's still my iPod, so... Pinky Pool is still working, but... Miss Patty is out. Um... I'm just ready to go home. Oh, look at that Porsche right there, y'all. I ain't mad at you. Look at that shit. Over here, you never know what you might run into over here. I mean, like, seriously. Very, very nice area. One thing you're not going to get over here is a lot of riffraff. You know, motherfuckers that's just out hanging out. You know, selling shit and all that. Nah. Very, very nice area. But damn, a nice area that I'm really ready to leave now. I'm like ready to go home. I do want them to sync my, my Bluetooth. Where would I do with that? Because I want them to hook that up too. Guys, I'm not computer lit at all. I know absolutely, let me, uh, yeah. Um, I know absolutely nothing about computers and syncing and all that kind of stuff. I'm real raggedy with it. So, it was, it was well worth me waiting and allow the professionals to do that than me. So, but I just didn't think it was going to take this long. Anyways, let me go check and see because I'm, I'm all I'm almost to the point of just like Whatever is done is good enough, you know, but I don't want to I want to give my my this phone, you know my my old one to Anthony um, He done jacked up his phone and I think he jacked it up on purpose to be perfectly honest with you because Isaiah got a phone last week, and Tony got, got a new one um, about a week ago while they were on their trip. And um, so, I think Anthony jacked his shit up on purpose, so then therefore his shit can be replaced. But think not, you getting ready to get this uh, My Touch 4G is what you're getting ready to get. Now, see, he was on some Galaxy and all that. No, we're not doing that. Mm-mm. No, you're going to get this one right here. I'm going to have them restore it to its original state where everything is cleared off of it and it's blank. Uh, surprise, that's what you're getting. Because it's been inside of that case all that time. It's really new. You know, it's because it's only a year old. I got it spring of last year. Yeah, spring of last year. So it's fairly new. So he's good for that. But how about, you know what, Isaiah got his cell phone, let's see, we went downtown LA last Tuesday. And so, Tony bought Isaiah a phone, and, um, I mean, somebody calling my name? Oh, I'm tripping. Um, he lost his damn phone on Saturday. Um, he went to his, uh championship celebration we all went and while we was there I'm telling him put your phone in your pocket he walking around with the phone all in his hand and you know flossing all in front of his teammates and all that old type of shit and lost his shit and but I ended up calling the team mom 
And so she said that her phone was turned into the coach. So Coach Lester ended up with it. Somebody turned it into him. And so, um, so he did end up getting it back. But I was hot. Oh my God, I was livid for the simple fact that I told him, you know, to put your phone away or you will lose it. You're going to sit it down somewhere and it's going to be gone. It's a wrap. You know, he trying to, you know, skin and grin and all that crip walking and cat daddy and all that and stuff in front of the little girls up there and lay, lay this shit down. But luckily, you know, um, somebody of standard. Hi. Oh. I'm a flirt, right? He was kind of cute. I'm not interested, though. But it was a good look. So, anyway, so yeah, he was sitting up here trying to, you know, flirt and all that stuff and lost his phone, but we were able to retrieve it, so all is not lost. Guess I will get that that new sandwich because the fish place closed at eight o'clock. I ain't got no action on that shit now. That's a wrap. That's what I wanted was some good fried fish. That's a bust. Can't do that now. So anyway, family, let me let me go see what I can do. Or see where I'm at. Hopefully it'll be close and I can just go. Can't do nothing but wait, right? That's all I can do. I know Jody probably done call. Where you at, dog? Kim probably called. Babe, where you at? Woo, woo, woo. You know, and so I'm certain it's going straight to voicemail because uh -oh. look at that brother, y'all. Little convertible uh, BMW. I ain't playing with you. You gotta do that shit, partner. This is the spot right here, huh? Shit, roll down my window and kick it, shit. Fine ass bros down here, boy. Shit. A name walking. Shit, that's a mega plus right there. Shit. Winning. Shit. Well, anyway. Let me go and see where I'm at. Hopefully, I'll be able to go home. Oh, anyway. That sounds like Fantasia. She playing her car right here. Look, check her out. I think that was Fantasia. She was playing her shit. How ironic is all this shit? Mmm. Well... Let's go see. Love you guys, and I love you guys for rolling with me, Shotgun. It's been a long day, hasn't it? A long day. Let's go see what's up. Bye. Okay, family, I am just leaving from my little Chinese spot here. Got me some food. Um, I have a, um, a whole bunch of stuff here in the car. And I've made it, I've made it over to my city now. I made it to my city, and I just talked to Tioni a few minutes ago. And she, you know, took it upon herself to start the meat. So, being that uh, she started the ground beef cooking... 
So, um, she says, well, mommy, all you need to get now is the, um, the corn tortillas, um, the corn tortillas and some cheese. So, we're heading to the market to go get these corn tortillas and the cheese so my baby can finish her dinner. How beautiful is that? I mean, she knew that I was running late and I wasn't able to call them and for her to just, you know, be like, okay, well, mommy's running late, so... You know, I'm still going to feed my brothers and my dad. That was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. So, let's get home and get this on and popping. All right, family. Bye. Hey, family. I'm in the store. Check it out. Okay. I got... Tioni says that I need some lettuce. So, we're getting lettuce. I'm trying to work with one hand, family. And look, check this out. You know you're not supposed to go to the store hungry. So, just for the sake of argument, I got ice cream bars, push-up bars, cookies, cheese. Shit, I don't need. It is what it is. I feel like I'm swelling up like ridiculously, but it's cool. No harm, no foul. Within a couple of days, I'll be back to normal. Oh! They got them on sale for $10 now. Look, you guys need to get one of those in your life, especially those of you guys that, um, you know, do jazz festivals and stuff. Or just, you know, if you go downtown LA or if you're shopping and get a lot of stuff, get one of those carts right there, you be winning. You don't have to carry nothing in your hand. I'm an advocate of that. Look, $10.29 a piece. You know I had to give me a sweet tea. On. Let's go. Okay, family, we're getting ready to be nosy. I know y'all can't see me and it's in the dark, but this is the dispensary that I go to all the time, right? And the police are all over here. Okay, oh, well, they're not at the dispensary. they someplace else. Let me see what's going on over here. Let's see what's going on. I had to be nosy. I had to see if that was my spot. We out. Bye. <laughs>